Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Chrono Trigger DS. Let's figure out what the crap just happened. <laughs> hmm, haha. Yeah, there's no music here, by the way, because of that, you know, whole ominous scene there. Hey, it's Luca! The girl, she has a name, you know. I mean, just as you thought. What the hell is going on here? And I love how she, like, looks around. By the way, even if you go to the castle before, um, well, the castle in your own era before coming here, you won't have any extra dialogue about anyone actually, like, recognizing the place or anything like that. What? What? Yeah, yeah, okay, we get it. We get it. You understand she's her descendant. They didn't have to use four of us to demonstrate this. No! I am totally giving the middle finger to that imp right now. But you said yourself that history's just been changed, so it's kind of a um, little problem there. Because Marl disappeared, it's implying um, something already happened to Lean, even though technically the game is giving us time. No, I didn't want to leave the castle. Uh, giving us time to rectify it. So it's kind of a screwed up time paradox. You can go down the dining room for some dialogue. He's passed out. Don't lie, you're next to the keg. Um, there we go. Okay, I was gonna say I would like cutscene or something. Yeah, he's he's lying next to a keg. He's not he's not sitting there of hung dying of hunger. He's passed out because he's drunk. No, 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 game. You did not just do that. He was drunk. Okay. Sit down, sit down. There is a way you can sit down, but I've like never been able to do it in this version. Ether! Uh, Ether was restored 10 MP. Oops, I made that too fast. Out of my kitchen! Haha, <laughs> ice cream. Hey! Well, aren't we demanding? You just sat in my chair, bitch! That's right, we're all hardworking people here. God, you're an asshole. Okay, game, will you let me friggin' look? Thank, thank you. Yeah, I've like never been able to sit down in this version, no matter what the hell I press. But anyway, let's waste some more time and explore the rest of the castle. Because it's fun. No, we don't need to rest. You can if you want to, but... Mm, strangely quiet. Oh, he's dying. Or is at the very least injured. I 
I smell something fishy. Sir Cyrus now? Who the hell is Sir Cyrus? Well, if you didn't expect me, if you expected me to know about him, why did you even ask the question in the first place? So, he's pretty much dead then, right? Well, you're nice to me, but why were you an asshole to the cook? Yeah, you're British in a bunch, huh? Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. Now, since everybody's been talking about this damn cathedral, we might as well go check it out. Let's get another shelter, because we're cool like that. Not that we have anywhere else to go. I mean, we don't know how the hell to get out of here or anything like that. And now we can show off Luca, who, as her accessory, she has, I think it's called the Scout, uh, the Scouter, I think? But basically, it shows you, um, how much HP the enemy has remaining. That's gonna be replaced real quick. And she's the only one who can use it, by the way, so you can't just put it on somebody else. Onto the cathedral we go! I like the music here. Okay. Shiny! Shiny! Hairpin? Wait, didn't someone else mention that Lean was missing her hairpin when she came back? Something's not right here. Oh, holy crap! Now, this battle isn't too hard, but these guys will cast slow on you. Now, I'm gonna transition to the bottom screen very quickly here, and you'll see that underneath our HP and MP bars, um, now we have a little icon there saying what data ailments we have on us currently. Like, it will, if obviously if you have more than one, it will just flash back and forth too much once you have, so... That's kind of cool, so if your HP is zapped or you're not sure what status damage you have on you, because the animations are slow, too slow... Oh, no, it's gonna slow chrono. And they'll actually show up as soon as the, their attacks are executed, but before the animation is done, so you can actually tell them if their success their, 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 their status damage is gonna be successful right off the bat. Uh, one thing to know about Luca, number one, she is the slowest character overall anyway. And both with her and Marl, since their weapons are projectile weapons, if they attack an enemy too close to them, they will whack them with the weapon instead, rather than firing at them, and they'll do less damage by doing that. So make sure you aim your attacks carefully with them. Now this battle can go on for, like, ever, simply because... Um, they'll continue to slow you down every time. See, I want to attack one farther away, so she actually does normal damage. I think they're gonna have to heal Luca soon. Yeah, see, this 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 battle just goes so damn slow because of this. Yeah, it's not a hard fight; they just constantly, constantly slow you. Hopefully this will get rid of at least one of them. On the, uh... Obviously you saw it briefly when I showed off the, the slow icon on the bottom screen there, but if you have the scatter on, not only does it show... Yeah, I do want to type a Luca. Um, on the top screen, how much HP they have, there's actually a progress bar that appears on the bottom screen, um, showing you know their approximate HP relative to their, their max the whole, um, all the time. But obviously that only works if you have the scatter equipped. Alright, there's another one gone. <coughs> this battle never end! Oh come on, she doesn't have much HP left. 
Apparently she's gonna slow me again. Oof. Uh, I should have attacked the other one. It had more HP left. Ooh, critical hit! Thank you! And Luca levels up! Did you just sucker punch me, bitch? What the hell? It's a frog. It's a freaking frog. Now, if you remember, um, one person mentioned that Queen Lean had a friend who was a frog. This must be him. And this is also one of those thou must situations anyway, so just say yes. Yeah, she doesn't like amphibians. And presumably reptiles. Frog, what a name. We're gonna keep that name. I don't like the animation of him showing off his bicep there, because number one, I think it looks awkward, and number two, he's right-handed, not left. <laughs> SECRET PASSAGE! Now, we have no idea what the hell the secret passage is, but let's play this organ! Anyway, we're gonna leave real quick, and we're gonna go back to the inn to rest. I'm not gonna use any shelters right now, because even though I've gotten a few free ones, I wanna save my money. Unlike, like, the first episode where I was a total moron. And that's, like, the only time you actually see Luca with her hat off, and she does have indeed have purple hair. Yeah. A scientific genius has purple hair. Let's head right in! Oh, look at monsters. Diablo, huh? Kick his ass, frog. And if we notice, frog is actually more HP than Chrono does. Oh, why did I attack that one? That was stupid of me. I just always have a habit of if the same enemies on the screen just going after the first one it comes up to by default. I like how Frog hops, it's cute. And Luca learns Flamethrower, and we get the Fire World Dual Attack. Now, we already, uh, off screen when I was grinding for Gato, I do have a, um, a dual tech with Marl, but I'll show that off later because it's obvious we're gonna rescue her. That's what we're here for. But anyway, um, dual techs in the game are composed. Dual techs, there we go. Of two already learned techniques for those two characters. Um, every character in the game gets three dual techs with every other party member in the game. In this case, Firewall, in order to get it, in this specific case, um, you'll see at the top screen, it requires Luca Learn Knowing Flamethrower and Chrono Knowing Cycle. As soon as you have um, both the techniques required to learn the dual tech, they must be in a fight together for you to actually gain access to the dual tech. So, for example, um, obviously this is impossible at this point in the game because Chrono is always the leader of your party. But if for some reason Chrono wasn't in the party and Luca learned Flamethrower, you would not get Firewall until Luca and Chrono finished a battle together. Okay. Ugh. Treasure! Cleaning water! And a potion. Let's kick this guy's ass. Let's see if we, they can get close enough for us to show off Firewall. 
didn't know they're not going to, so screw that. Okay, what am I doing? We can show a flamethrower. And there's Frog's uh, critical hit, which I think the animation is cool. Let's show off Flamethrower real quick. Yeah, she sets them on fire. That is pretty sweet. And Chrono's level increases again. And of course, since Chrono is your um, main party member, he'll always level up faster than everyone else. So what a waste this in the cathedral here. This doesn't look like a church or anything like that at all. So find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger DS. See you later.